Jordan Deary, and today I'd like to share with you some basic operations and a few key features of the Clipper Proportional Valve Driver. The Clipper Proportional Driver, or EBPD, has two basic functions, amplification and linearization. Amplification is the core function of the EBPD. Analog outputs of most controllers are not nearly powerful enough to drive a solenoid valve directly. Linearization is the other main function of the Clipper EBPD. Proportional poppet valves have by nature a response dead band, where changing the current does not affect the flow. This is an inconvenient nonlinearity that requires more sophisticated control schemes than many people would like for a quick prototyping effort. The user adjustable minimum and maximum output current settings of Clipper's EBPD eliminate this dead band in the valve's flow in response to the controller's command signal. The features of the EBPD are designed to maximize flexibility for the system engineer that is building a prototype. All the specifications or requirement of the EBPD are available online at Clipper.com. Let's touch on a few. Adjustable command threshold. Because of the valve's response deadband, it is possible to keep the valve closed by driving it with less current than the minimum necessary to open the valve. However, there are many reasons why it is best if there is no current going through a valve when it is intended to be closed. So the Clipper EBPD provides an adjustable command threshold. When the command signal is below this threshold, there will be no current through the coil. The threshold value is adjustable to accommodate for different command signals and other environmental factors such as electrical noise. There are five different command signal options. The driver accommodates both 0 to 20 milliamps and 4 to 20 milliamp current signals, as well as 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts analog, and pulse width modulation voltage signals. There are three jumper selectable output modes for the standard Clipper EVP voltages, 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, and 0 to 20 volts. Supply power requirements are determined by the valve voltage specified. The driver protects itself against several setup mistakes, including reverse polarity hooked up with supply power and a dead short across the output terminals. LED indicators to show system status for ease of setup and troubleshooting. Power, activity status, and fault monitoring. High supply voltage, low supply voltage, driver overheating, and a short across the coil are all faults the driver will protect against and alert the user about. I hope this video helps you understand the basic operations of the EBPD. There are more instructional videos online at clipper.com to help with setup and troubleshooting. If you need further assistance, please contact a technical representative at Clipper to help with your application.